Six-year-old Zintle Mkwango is visiting a dentist for the first time. Recently, she's been experiencing severe toothache. Her teeth was very, very sore and she was uh, getting pains every day. Now, I, that's why I bring her to hospital, to the dentist. Her teeth are very, very rotten and then now the color of her teeth is uh, like black. Dr. Mapefo Takiso, a community dentistry specialist, examines Zintle's teeth to see the extent of the decay. So if you look at he, her mouth, yes. most of her primary teeth are, in, uh, are rotten yes. from one side to the next. Mm -hmm. And here it's quite severe. She actually has what you call a dental abscess. Okay. So as you can see here, these are rotten. Okay. Okay, her front teeth are quite caries. This is a condition we call rampant caries. Being diagnosed with rampant caries means a large portion of Zintle's teeth are decayed. She only has 20 teeth, but currently 10 of them are rotten. As a Zintle, uh, teeth are rotten. Yes. How, 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 what, at your opinion, how this started and what, what was the cause actually? Okay. Yes. In, in Zintle's case, she's a child who's been exposed to sweetened uh, beverages mm -hmm. and she's a child who has had this at a very high frequency from breakfast till supper she's exposed to sugar uh, concentrated juices and drinks okay so we need to, to, to concentrate on that according to Dr. Takiso overconsumption of sugar is the main culprit sugar changes the pH balance in the mouth this makes the mouth more acidic and leaves the teeth more vulnerable to rotting. An x-ray of Zintle's teeth reveals the prognosis is not good. But she's not alone. A large majority of children in South Africa are also struggling with severe tooth decay. The National Children's Oral Health Survey of South Africa has indicated that 60% of six-year-olds have dental caries and 80% of those children are walking around with untreated caries. So it really affects the quality of life for the child. Zintle urgently needs to have her four rotten front teeth removed. Before the operation, Dr. Takiso gives her a toothbrushing demonstration. But brushing can't fully counterbalance the acidic environment that excessive sugar consumption causes in the mouth. If that child is exposed to a fluoridated toothpaste, then at least there is some remineralization that occurs in the mouth. With remineralization is that now the pH becomes balanced. However, I don't think it, balance, it can balance the amount of sweetened sugar beverages that a child becomes exposed to. Zintle is given a mild sedative to calm her down and her gums are injected with an anesthetic to minimize the pain of the extractions. The operation could have been avoided if Zintle consumed less sugary drinks. Dental care is, is preventable and the main aim for us is to support the sugar tax to support the reduction in consumption of sweetened sugar beverages. As I said, sugar is the main culprit and it, it occurs over time. So it's not an overnight thing that you, your child has a rotten tooth. It occurs over time. In future, the amount of sugar in Zintle's diet will be reduced to prevent further tooth decay. As from now, I'm going to be very, very strict on her diet, not to eat, um, the, the sweets and then the juice and then it's me who's going to uh, organize food for her, it's me who's going to do everything for her, whatever goes in her mouth, I'm going to take a responsibility of that, yes.